everybody, we are back with the Nanuet Chamber of Commerce Nanuet News Show, and uh, we're here today at the beautiful Coupe Theater Studio with Diane Coupe Frankel and Allison Frankel, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Coupe. Hi. So, Coupe is a name that everybody in the county knows. There isn't anybody who either hasn't had their child trained here or knows somebody whose child was trained here, right? They're, everybody knows the Coupe name. But tell us a little bit about the history. Well, uh, my name is Coupe. Uh, somebody recently, uh, who I knew very well, finally said, well, where did Coupe come from? And I said, that's my name. Uh, anyway, it is Coupe Theatre Studio. My name was Diane Coupe. Um, we started uh, the studio when uh, my husband and I moved up from the city. He was the mounted police sergeant in Times Square. We got married and had a little boy and moved to Rockland County. And um, we were told that the taxes would increase by about $100 a year. Well, they increased by 1000 the <laughs> first one. <laughs> and the boiler broke. And my husband said, uh, why don't you think about teaching? Well, I had just spent 10 years on Broadway, doing Broadway shows for all of the 60s. Um, but my family, I come from three generations of dance teachers. My family are all dance teachers in England. Um, so I knew the business very well. I was still expecting to go back into theater but uh, I put a little sign up uh, at the local church saying, new dance teacher in town. And I got a call from this young girl and she said, could, could I take dance? And I said, sure, come on over. And my husband had outfitted the basement of 10 Pheasant Drive with a bar and mirrors. And I was so lucky because Patsy Cremens was the first girl that came to me. Uh, she was 13 years old. She came down in my basement. She'd never danced, and she was absolutely a born dancer. Ah. It was amazing. So somebody was really looking after me. And it was one girl, and before I knew it, I had 40 children <laughs> in my basement. Uh, so I moved to St. John's Church there. They had a common room and uh, took it there and it gradually grew. In the meantime, I had Jennifer, my daughter, and then Mark. And I ended up uh, at Jermans Pres uh, John Jermans Presbyterian Church because my children went to, most, uh, you know, to nursery school there. And I taught there uh, for a couple of years. And then finally, one of the fathers came to me and said, I'm a real estate person, and there's a property I'd like to show you. And he took me to where we were, the old studio, which is on Route 59 by um, the Learning Center. Mm -hmm. And so we looked, and we took the first, the upper floor, not the basement floor, but the upper floor, and before we knew it, we had the upper floor, we had the lower floor, we moved across the street to a uh, warehouse space that was his, the, you know, the uh, owner's property also, and then the shop area, and then upstairs and around. And before we knew it, we had nine studios. And wow. that's, that's, how, that's how it grew. My, my daughter Kelly was, uh, took one of the hip hop classes <laughs> that there. You there go. So. <laughs> Um, and so, the tell us about all of the classes that you teach here, because it's not just, people might think of it as just ballet, it's not just ballet. No. Um, well, Alice and I, we, what we follow is our English background, and when you go to a studio in England, it will very rarely be just a ballet studio, because that's the way it's always been in England. You would take ballet jazz, tap, um, and so that's what we've followed. Uh, we do ballet, jazz, tap, of course hip-hop is new, modern dance, contemporary, we have acting, 
we have a musical theatre, but that's what we were brought up in, in England. So what you have here is really what, how we were raised. So I think people, yeah, might be surprised about that because I think, you know, people immediately think of dance. I don't know that everybody realizes all the breadth of services that you do. And the, and the ages, so what are the... We start at three years old with our TOTS program. First graders, they can take ballet and all sorts of other things. And then we move all the way up to pre-professional, 18-year-olds and on into adults. I think our oldest um, adult is in her 80s, <laughs> so it's great. Oh my goodness. You know, we have a whole range of, of students that we teach. And the, so the ballet, I took ballet, which I, I think was with you, <laughs> I hate to admit that, but, um, and I remember um, I never quite made it to the, to the toe shoes. But that's like such a graduation, isn't it? When they, when yes. they go it's into a, the... It is, it's a big deal for the children and they very, get very excited yeah. when it's their turn and their time to go on point. And tap is always fun, right? Yes. So Tap is a lot of fun. We have musical theatre also, so the kids sing and act and dance all at the same time, which is wonderful. And then we have our new acro program, which incorporates gymnastics move, moves with dance. They have a lot of fun doing that. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And then you have another program, special needs type We of do. Program? We have a special needs program, which is run by one of our teachers. It's called Rhythm Works. And it's for um, children who have a different learning style. So they could be, um, it, it covers all different special needs, or autism and um, other forms of, of special needs. So it's a great program. So, so tell us about some of the students who have been trained here and what they've gone on to do. Because I know right before we started taping, you were talking about Harry Potter, mm -hmm. right? Well, we have a number of people who, students who've gone on to do Broadway or ballet companies or touring companies. But right now we have Isabel McCalla, who was started here as a little girl, and now she's one of the leads in the prom on Broadway. Uh, we have uh, another young lady, um, Samuels, Malika Samuels, and uh, she's playing in the uh, Harry Potter. She's playing Hermione. Hermione in Harry Potter, so she's got one of the leads. And we have Jonathan Quigley. Um, they're all on Broadway. Jonathan Quigley now they're going to do Fiddler on the Roof. The Yiddish Theatre is doing That's Fiddler great. on the yeah. Roof, which I can't wait to That's see. That's great. And he's doing that. We had Rory Kaplan just left the, um, the Jersey tale. Boys and a Bronx Tale. So we've got a bunch of people and uh, some people out on the road. And uh, it's fun. It's so, great. I think what's great about that is if you just want your child to have some movement and some dance class and to do something, they can come here and do that. Yes. But if they're serious about a career, they can also come and, and learn Absolutely. what it really means. Yes. Yeah. Those choices are there. It depends on the child and uh, what they want out of it. And whether it's a once a week child that can just enjoy having dance uh, or one that wants to really follow a career and go into the profession. Uh, we cater to all kinds, it's which wonderful. I'm very proud of. It's, it's wonderful. So, and you're relatively new in this space, right? Yes. We talked about the other space, but you've been here how long? For three years. Yes. Is it that long already? Here. I yes. remember the ribbon cutting. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, that's a while. It's our third season here. We talked about your, your students. Um, how many students do you think have gone through well, <laughs> well, how many studied here? Oh, how gosh. many years have we been? It's going to be fifty years. Fifty years. It's 50 going to be fifty years. years next year. So, try a thousand for every one of those years. Oh my gosh! And fifty thousand children have gone through here, and adults, yes. right? Adults yes. can come into yes. classes as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. That's quite a milestone number, <laughs> and. Um, so you have summer camp. Anybody can come to the summer camp. We offer, we start at age four with a three-week program. 
they come for half a day and they explore movement, they sing, they dance, they act, they do crafts, they have so much fun. It's a really sweet program. And then they move on to our 67 year old program and they're here from uh, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then there's our, our intensive summer camps. So we have a five week summer program, which that is all different, all aspects of theatre. They act, they sing, they dance, they do ballet, pre-point, tap, acro, hip hop, you name it, they do it. And then we have our intensive ballet program also. Um, each of the each week we go to see a different show, which is so much fun. Oh, that's fun. so much fun! Yeah, yeah. we take the kids um, down, um, Broadway, into the city. down to the city. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Um, so we've got some good shows lined up this year for them, and it, it's a really good time. And we finish up with a in-house performance of some of the shows that we see that they study the music from and some of the dance. So it's great. And. and Go ahead. I was going to say, they can, you can register online for that? We can register online through the website, or okay. you can come in and see the facility and register at Adada. You have fall enrollment as well, so yes. people looking to fall do enrollment, something for yeah, that. Yeah, it starts in um, June, July for any new students coming in, and we welcome people to come into the building. We don't do online registration for new students for the fall yet. Um, because there's so much to talk about. What does your child like? What are they interested in? Which classes would best suit them? So we encourage people to come in and meet some of the teachers and talk about what it is they're looking for for their, stu for their children. Okay. And um, so the Nutcracker yes. <laughs> is um, very well known in the county, but uh, tell people about Ride and the Nutcracker. Well, we started out um, uh, we were, I had the studio on Route 59 and a good friend of mine who knew some of the people who owned uh, theater in the round, coach-like dinner theater it was right? at that That's time. Right, right. Oh my gosh, right. And they had asked, uh, did he know, because he was in the theater and I'd worked with him, he was a friend of mine, did, could he suggest anything as a children's thing for coach light, uh, you know, during Christmas season? And he said, I have just the person for you and he called me and he said Diane could you do Nutcracker and I said yes we'll do it and we had a couple of months to get it together but that was it really changed the whole thing with the studio a great deal uh, and so we did Nutcracker and then in order to belong to the Arts Council you had to be a non-profit so uh, we went, uh, you know, we became a non-profit dance company and we've done Nutcracker. This coming next year will be the 40th anniversary so of Nutcracker. Yes. And so just to explain, so RIDE stands for? Rockland Youth Dance Ensemble. Right, so that's the non-profit. And yes. then students, you don't have to uh, take classes here to be a part of Nutcracker, right? That's you correct. can audition that's separately. And that's correct. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and again, from little ones, right? Yes. All the way up to two adults. From second graders, from second graders on up. It's pretty little, yes. second grade. Yes. And um, so, and you have won some awards, right? So you are, what's the one that you got from Clarkstown? Um, because I am the longest of a female owner of a business, which is 50 years. Yes. And then you received two years ago, I think, the Rockland Women's Business Network yes. Award, yes, Women of did. Achievement. And that was lovely. Was that yeah. really was. And we've been, both Allison and I, we've been awarded uh, by the state um, the, for, the, for the dance program, for what we've um, introduced and done for dance in New York State. And we have that um, honor. And um, uh, Arts Council, we won the Arts Council a number of years uh, with Ride, and um, that goes on. We we are so blessed in Rockland County to have to have Coupe here, and and to have you as Nanua Chamber members is even a, yes, a bigger bonus. Great. And so June second is our street fair. We'll yes. And every year you guys do an exhibition, right? And we'll have be there. some of the students there, which is so wonderful and everybody always looks forward to that. Yes. Um, what am I missing? What didn't we mention? Anything? 
I think the one thing that we are so proud of also is the caliber of teacher we have here. So we have one teacher in one studio who's performed with Miami City Ballet. Another teacher has been with New York City Ballet, my um, Milwaukee Ballet, Stuttgart Ballet. So there's a lot of really great ballet teachers who bring their performing skills as well as their teaching skills to students. And then we have Broadway performers uh, who've right. been in Evita, um, crazy for you. We have a rocket on our stuff. Oh my goodness! So, and so there's a wealth of performing expertise as well as uh, teachers who have gone the educational route and got degrees in their in dance education and especially young children, so that they know and have been taught how to teach young children. So it's really great to see this growth from three years old all the way through the school. And such a diverse um, staff is amazing. Yeah, and is. I would think that their experience, having done what they've done out in you know the, the real world, right. has to be so helpful for to bring that to the students and talk about you know what is it really like to audition or to, yes. to dance on Broadway or to be turned out or you yeah. know and, yes. and keep going. So that must be wonderful. Yeah. Do you bring in other um, outside people or ever do workshops yes. or? Yes. We brought in somebody from Hamilton, did a workshop. Uh, we brought in current performers on Broadway. Uh, they've done workshops, a number of them. And um, it's fun, it's fun when we do that. Yeah. Particularly with the musical theater, um, you know, performers coming in. Especially if you're performing on Broadway right sure, now and you're sure. one of our students and they come in. So tell everybody, and can they always come? You're always here, yes. right? If someone really oh, wants yes. to meet the, the, the you in person, yes. British accents and all, <laughs> that you're always here, right? Absolutely. It's not just, and do you, do you teach or you oversee now? No, I oversee, I oversee now, um, because it needs to be overseen. <laughs> because we have 30 employees, so, you know, overseeing that and making sure that all of the office work is taken care of, that's my job now. And I enjoy doing it. But people can come in any time and talk to you. Absolutely. Right? Well, I can't thank you both enough. It is really, it is such a, a real uh, treat to be able to have such quality people here in, in Clarkstown, in Rockland County, in Nanuet. So we thank you for your 50 years here in, you. uh, in Rockland and in Nanuet and for being a, a member of the chamber. Well, thank, thank you. you. And thank you, thank you for your support. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. We will see you next time.